Good afternoon everyone and welcome to Chris's Cuddles. I've had a re <coughs> excuse me, I've had a request to bring little Lottie on. So here she is. So we might do the siblings today. Might do Lottie and um Timothy. That's if Paul doesn't start shouting me for my tea because um he's just put the sanding in the oven. Right, let's find the reverse before we start. That'll do. <coughs> Right, little girl, come on. Let's get you out of this. Oh, I'm going to put her in this little pretty dress while I got off vintage with my last haul. This looks a bit vintage to me. Vintage or vintage. <laughs> it's got um, that stitching round the edge of the neck. No, that's not the same. Pretty stitching, but it's not blanket stitch. It's got a little puffy elasticated sleeve. It's got elasticated smocking across the front in white, a little satin white bow, and then it's got Swiss dots going from there to there, and then all this lovely embroidery, and a scalloped edge, and then two rows of scallops as well, and two little pearlized white buttons. And it comes with its own panties, but I'm going to put some frilly knickers on, because you know I like my frilly knickers. So she's going to have that. Uh, those little socks with white frill and pink roses, some nice white frilly knickers with a satin bow and lace and embroidery and I might put, oh the cream, I the cream but I don't think it matters, I might put them little sandals on, I don't know yet, I might and I might not, okay so we'll get started. Oh, do you know what? I never thought I would ever say these words, but I'm sick of looking at baby clothes. Now, I never thought those words would come out of my mouth, but there you go. And I've not started on the boys yet. Hey, I don't know. I don't know. Things we do for love. The things we do for love. Come on, chicken, let's get you undressed. Look at these little tiny feet. Welcome to my new subscribers. I know I've got one because she told me yesterday. You're very, very welcome. And I hope you like my channel and I hope you decide to stay with us. That will be amazing. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, your bracelet. Um, so this is my little Lottie and she is the... Uh, Real Born Felicity Asleep by Bountiful Baby. She is 20 inches in length. She weighs six pounds, six ounces. She was reborn on the 9th of December, 2022. So she was my Christmas baby. Or was she? Hmm, I don't know. Uh, yeah, 22. I got uh, Sophie, 23. And she was reborn by Alexandra Taylor Hughes, who also reborn a brother, who we're going to do in a moment. And when you see him, I think, I hope, you'll understand why I say it's a brother. Because they was both from um, Bountiful Baby. They're both um, partial silicones. And they were both reborn by Alexandra. And they've both got little teeny tiny limbs. And she is absolutely gorgeous. I love this little girl. With all my heart, I do, I do, I do. This is a little mayoral dress. But also came off vintage. If you don't shop on vintage, go and have a look. You get some real bargains, real bargains. I'm going to have to stop going on because I tell you, if you could see all the clothes I've got and I've not finished yet, I've got all the ones that need ironing, yeah, that find somewhere for hang them and my rails are full and then I've got to start on the boys, oh dear me, dear me, dear dear me, little girl, she's so beautiful this little girl, love her to pieces, I do. Like a pizza rabbit vest. 
Yeah, I think I've got about five new subscribers last week. I think. It's nice that no people like your channel. I love it when I get a nice uh, comment saying that I love watching you and I love seeing your babies. Doesn't have to give you a, a morale boost. Really does. I'll tell you about me day yesterday. Went to see the doctor yesterday morning. Different doctor again. Never seen him before. <coughs> and as soon as I told him what was wrong with me, he said, do is put you on this liposolium or whatever it is for blood pressure. I said, Dr. Mustafa. He said, why has he put you on there? I said, because he had high blood pressure. Right, I'm taking you off there. Now, Shara, I think it was, messaged me the other day when she knew I'd had this coughing thing. And she said, have you thought it could be your medication? And apparently she was on that and it gave her a really bad cough. So he's took me off there and he's given me a different one. Um, but when we went to the chemist to pick it up, <coughs> they give me a prescription, got home, looked at it, and it's not there. It's for painkillers. Two boxes of one and two boxes of another. So I phoned the doctors and told her, she said, well, there, what you've picked up was ordered last Wednesday. I said, I don't remember ordering them. But when I'm thinking about it, because then, well, I have for my sweats and on my um, repeat prescription, which I've asked them to put it on my repeat prescription, you have to order something else before you can write in the little box. You know, leave a message for the doctor. So you have to order something. So I think that's what I've done. I've ordered them so I could get the sweat tablets, what I've not got. So they've not given me them neither. Said to Paul, I can't stand inefficient, in, inefficiency, whatever. So that was that. So, oh, and they sent me for a chest x ray. Give me a good going over. That sounds a bit rude, doesn't it? He uh, put one of them things on my finger, like you have in hospital. I think that's for you. Is it your heart rate? So he put that on, um, looked in my ears with an ear thing. Then he took my temperature, then he did my blood pressure, twice. So whether it was I the first time and then he did it again, I don't know. <coughs> then uh, he said, can I have a listen at your chest? So I said, I might be a bit sweaty. He said, it's okay. So he had a listen at my chest and he says, your chest sounds all right. He said, but these what we have don't pick everything up, you know, they're just the... Um, not a telescope. You're all right with a telescope on your back, wouldn't you? Um, set, 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 one of them, you know, what they listen to you out with. Um, so he sent me for a chest x-ray. So I've been for that today. These are a bit big. That's supposed to sandals, isn't it? You can see where the little feet are. But her feet are tiny. No, I'm not putting them on. Save them for one of my other babies later this week. Um, and then I went to Furfields, didn't I? Half past four. Uh, seen the, the gorgeous doctor that talk, talks to me like I'm a dog. It was in. So I think it's in that's going to do the um, procedure. So he went through it all again. He said, um, we sent you for an MRI. I think it was. And uh, you've got gallstones. I said, well, look. I felt like saying, well, we knew that before you sent me. So he said, the only thing for that is uh, operation. So he's booted me in. So I said to him, have you any idea when it'll be? So I'm no wiser. He said, either one to two months. I mean, if he was on the NHS, this is a private hospital. But I, I'm not paying. I'm doing it through the NHS. But I mean, if you went to, through the NHS, you'd be waiting yonks. I think our Karen said... She waited 18 months for our hers done. So if it's done in two months, that's not bad. But we still can't do holiday because we don't know when I'm going to go. I'm supposed to be going and seeing one of my dolly friends. I won't tell you which one, in case she doesn't want me to tell you. I'm supposed to be going and seeing her. You know, we're going in the caravan and we've got to find a site near them. 
in uh, Somerset, which is about four hours away from us. We was going to do that. But now I'll be frightened of moving. I mean, they'll have to give you weeks, won't what they? You know, for sort yourself out, I suppose. I don't know. And I said to him, um, again, you know, I said, that, have you any idea how long I'll be in? I said, because last time I seen you, he looked at me tummy again. I'm sure he, my, looking at my tummy, turns him on, you know. And it's it's not. It's more of a turn off, not a turn on. Um, he said, well, if it's Keo, you'll be in and out in a day. But if we have to cut you open, because you've got a lot of scar tissue, uh, you'll be staying with us a few more days. So he never actually gave me a, a, a date again. So I said to him, well, so should I bring a bag then? And he went, what? Should you bring what? I said, a bag. He said, a bag. So I said, yeah, with my nighting and toiletries and things, in case I have to stay in. So he started laughing. He said, yeah, if you want. I thought, oh, well, that, that was good, thanks, thanks. She looked pretty in that, did not she? This was off vintage, I tell you, you want to go and have a look? I think that was only about two pounds. Gorgeous, isn't it? That's what I like little baby girls in. Don't like them in denim or anything like that. They've got to look like little girls. They've got to be pretty and look like little girls. which I like my babies to look like. Yeah, I think I've only ever put denim jeans on one of my boys. Don't like babies in denim. Toddlers, yeah, babies. No, not so keen. Not so keen, but that's just me. Don't take offence, anybody who likes putting denim on the babies. That's just me. Right, come on, sweetheart. Let's go and get your bra. Oh, come on. Let's have a little nurse of you. Oh gosh, I love this little girl. And she curls up in your arms, she's amazing. Come on, sweetheart. Move your dummy, Tracy. And she won't lie on it. There you go, sweetheart. Right, little Timothy. Tim along. Tim along, little Timothy. Let's do you. So this is little Timothy. And I say he's, he's Lottie's brother. Because as you can see, They've both got tiny little limbs. And they was both from rebounds.com. No, they wasn't. Where was they from? I've only just told you. Bountiful baby. <gasps> and he is the real born Stephen Asleep by Bountiful Baby. And he was born on the 11th of April, 2023. Now, he is 20 inches and his weight is six pounds, two ounces. And he was reborn by Alexandra Taylor use of Alexandra's babies. But for my new ones, you, you won't know this, so my old ones, I'm sorry, my regular subscribers, I'm sorry, but I'm going to tell them again. Um, they shouldn't be on 20 inch bodies, these two, in my bottom. They should only be on 18 and a half inches. That's why the limbs, cut size on his feet, are so delicate. But I asked Alexandra, because I don't have any tiny baby clothes. And I've got tons, tons and tons of baby clothes. So I thought, I'm not going to go out and start buying tiny baby clothes. Because I'll have nowhere to store them or anything. So I asked Alexandra, could she put them on a, a bigger body? So she very kindly did. But she said, with the limbs being so delicate, look at size on his hand. His hand's only as big as my thumb. And I've only got little fingers, little hands. Gorgeous little limbs. I love that knee. Look at his dimples in his knee. So anyway, she said, with them being so delicate, that's uh, as big as she can go. But that's what I wanted anyway. So I think most of my babies, apart from baby James, is um, 20 inches. So she did me a good turn, really. So that's why they've only got delicate little limbs, because really they shouldn't be this big. Oh, can you play? It's going it for Can't be long off. Right, chicken, let's put you a vest on. I bet these are be too big for you. Let's have a look. Hey, I'm just on my last baby cock. Put my back at the oven if you want. Oh, no, 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 no
some quick difference in there. I'll be quick. I'll be as quick as I can. I've been summoned. My car was playing up again. Went out for it started. Third time it started fairly enough. So I said to Paul, because I got to the hospital for a chest um, x ray. I said, Do you want this black hairs all over him? I said, Do you want to go in this while we're already in it? So he said, Jay, okay. So well, what happens if it won't start? It'll start, it'll start. So anyway, um, Gus put my tablets up first, I think. No, that was last. Where did we go first? Hospital. Hang on. How come that? It won't start at the hospital. Anyway, it won't start. I tried starting at the hospital and it won't start. So I went in the hospital and left Paul playing with it. So anyway, I got it started again. I said, I'm frightened to go in anywhere in case it won't start. I mean, it's all right if it starts here, but you could go, like, you know, on a journey and go for it, come home and it won't start, and then you're stuck. So I paid £4 odd for myself a tub of ice cream <laughs> for when he's away, in case I don't get for, for shopping. Oh, it's a murder, it is. I don't know what's up with her. I suppose it's like me, tired, tired, needs a rest. Now, I'm a fussy, I don't like that. When you can see the doofer, they're um, I'm not sure what he's having on. He's going to have them socks anyway. He's going to have to have a long sleeve um, little onesie on, it's a ribbed one. And he's going to have this... Um, Umphrey's corner. This was off vintage as well. I think that was only a pound. And then you've got your postage. So this is pale blue. It's got half a sun there, embroidered in yellow. It's got four birds embroidered in grey. Just a minute. And then down here, it's got little Umphrey with his friend Mop. Never goes anywhere without Mop. So all that's embroidered and it's got elastic round bottom. And it's got a little, I call these badges, I don't know what they are. Little badge. And it says Humphrey's Corner embroidered and the little badge has got a blue snail with a yellow back. So that's what he's having on. And I've still not moved the buttons on that romper bar I put on um, Oliver yesterday. Too busy, rough weight. Busy, busy, busy. Busy, busy, busy. But these socks are too big for him. Whoops. Well, they're not too bad. Not too bad. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Yeah, so he sent me for x-ray. He said, you shouldn't have uh, a cough for two months. I bet it's over two months I've had it. So it's the medication. I don't know. They give you these medications, but they never tell you the side effects, do they? Where's your bag, sweetheart, while you've got long sleeves? Where's your bag gone? For my new ones, if you don't know this trick, I mean, I use it for my um, vinyl babies as well. It's amazing for silicones, you know, for getting the ram through without hurting them. But if you've got a vinyl baby and say you've got a top with long sleeves and you want to put a cardigan on, you know how they ride up inside? Well, doing this trick stops it. So it stays where, where it is. That makes sense. I love this trick. I think Gail from um, Susie Q's Happy Little Haven started us all with this. Whether she made it up, I don't know, or she just seen it somewhere else. Oh, have you got a red egg? What's the matter? Hey? Little boy. Mummy giving you a dick. She gives herself a headache. Coughing gives me a dick. God, when I go off on one, dear me. I've no cough mixture left. Oh, 
There we go, that fits you nicely, doesn't it? Hey, little baby. Hey, I like rib stuff. I like rib tops up on myself. I think they make your boobs look big. And you wear a rib top. Come on, sweetie pie. Yeah, so I don't know whether it cancelled that operation, you know. I think I've got enough scars. I'm going to look like a bloody knots and crosses board at this rate. But it's when I get them pains in my tummy, they're really bad, really bad. Double dupping pain. You know, and I feel sick every day. So, I don't know whether that would be or not. Whether that cancelling. I thought I was going to have Keol. I won't hesitate. It's having another bloody big scar. I've already got three. I call them my scars of life. And I used one of them twice. When I had Mrs. Urians, they used the same one twice. Otherwise, they'd have had four scars. Oh, that fits in lovely, doesn't it? Oh, you look really cute. You look as though you're ready for a day on the farm. I'm using all these, what's come, because they're on gear, so me getting more stuff out. Right, little boy. Oh, let's have a look at your hair. I don't think you need any product on. I love the hair. She's done two shades of blonde. It's paler here at the front than the back. That bit's sticking up. Sometimes I comb it the wrong way, you know. That's why it sticks up. Remember that little chap that used to be in a comic? I forget what his name was. And he always used to have a piece sticking up. We used to call it an alfalfa for some reason. I don't know if that was his name or what. Oh, you've got an alfalfa. I mean, knowing me, I'm not even saying it right, but it's not even an alfalfa. So I always get my words wrong, as you'll know, if you keep per tuning into me channel. Put your Peter Rabbit door down. There's your little bunny. So that's it. That's two babies done. And I've not checked whether you've been seeing him. Oh, it's a good job you have, isn't it? Right, so I'll have to go because my tea's ready. So hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, it's Wednesday tomorrow, isn't it? Wednesdays we were pink. Oh, I can always do that one. There's no shortage of pink. So look after yourselves. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. And your precious loved ones. And keep smiling. Thank you very much for dropping by today. Oh, I love this little outfit on him. Peter Rabbit's my favourite. And then um, Humphrey's Corner. But you can't get Humphrey's Corner now. That's why I jump on them when I see them. Because obviously there was Mother Cur, but Mother Cur shut down. So you're lucky to find them now. Anyway, um, what was I saying? Yeah, thank you for dropping by. I really appreciate it. Because I know I understand you're all busy, like me. And um, thank you for those who take the time and trouble to um, comment. I really, really appreciate them. I mean, I appreciate you all. All of you for uh, you know tuning into my channel, even if you don't um, leave a comment. But at least if you do leave a, a little comment, even if you only say gorgeous like, or something like that, you know what I mean. At least you know who's watching your channel. That's the way I look at it. Anyway, it's entirely up to you. Don't feel pressurised. But if you don't leave me a comment, I'm going to come and get your piano, okay? Because I know where you live. <laughs> Only joking. Right, I'm going to go. Um, big kiss from me and the babies. I love you all. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Hopefully. Bye.